Now, kind of the next level for uh, many people that are, are still beginners, they want to really learn about bar chords, and rock and roll especially, man. The bar chord is uh, the greatest invention of all time. And it's called bar chords because essentially you're using your first finger to kind of represent the same thing that the nut is right here at the end of the neck. For example, if you're playing an E chord, you know, I'm playing every string on the guitar to make that chord. Okay, I can take that same position and hold it like this and imagine that I've got my first finger here fretting all these strings. Okay, same chord. Okay, now you take that same position and slide it up one fret and then that's an F chord. And then you can move up two more frets to the third fret. Now this is a G chord. And I'm sure you can tell that these are the, many of the same notes in these two chords. There's G this way, and this is also a G chord. So the beauty of the bar chords is you can play them anywhere on the neck. There's a G, there's an A, there's a B, there's a C, and then there's a D. That D chord, that's a D chord, another D chord. That's taking that kind of A position chord that we played earlier and sliding that up the neck. There's a B flat, C, D, E, on and on and on. That's a really valuable tool, especially like I said for rock and roll music. Um, so many songs are written where you get on the root note, in this case a G, and then the fifth of the chord, which is this D note here, and you and you go to the C chord, up to the D, 